Greetings, humanoids of the internet. My name is Bob, and this is the first episode of KSP Contracts with Bob. Uh, I have not played uh, the contract, the updated version yet. Uh, I am playing the 64-bit uh, version, which uh, supposedly has higher performance, but maybe a little bit less stable. Uh, we shall see. Let us start. Okay, I assume that career mode we have to, yeah, career mode we have to manage all aspects of our space program. Funds, reputation, and science are all active. Let's What the hell is that? Probodobodine? We'll pick NASA. Okay, and are you crashing KSP? Not yet. Okay, what the hell? I have no idea what this means. This bit, I have no idea what that, that bit means. Okay, whatevs. Uh, now, where do I get the contracts? Okay, well that's the our astronauts. I just don't know what the hell that means. Here we go. Hey, Gene. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, launch a new vessel. We will accept that contract. And we will accept that contract. Oh, uh, we'll, wait, we'll wait until we have some more science and some more parts before we do the rest of those. Command pod? Please? Oh, it's already there. Never mind. Yeah, that was that was so quick I didn't notice it was happening. Uh, and costs are, are, are a thing now. Apparently. Uh, now for the um, uh, the new design I can either go with uh, all solid rockets in which case I don't really have to worry about whether I'm taking any of that home with me. Um, or I can uh, try to recover it all. Uh, that cost uh, $325. That cost $850. Hmm. I think that in the context, uh, I would uh, rather go with the El Chipo Grande uh, solid rockets and not have to worry about take, bringing any of it back. Seems how I've got no decouplers now, yes? No, I've got no decouplers. Okay, we want to have that on a different level. Uh, and I think we're probably ready. I don't know whether it'll stand up properly on the launch pad or not. There's one way to find out. Oh, and I need to... Oh. Huh. I need to have the parachute on a different different uh, stage, yes. Okay. Yeah, this is probably better because I don't have to worry about bringing this stuff back. When you talk about, look at the, about the cost, so I would probably need th three of those at least. Uh, that's 1200 plus bucks plus another 850 meh I'm just gonna use good old solid rockets are we ready why am I asking you that you, you can't reply uh, I think we're ready 
use in the cockpit. Good old Jebediah. All right. Well, now we're, we're we're doing with this. What is all this? Okay, contracts. Gotta get up to five thousand. Yeah, I think it should probably not be. I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh, oh! Science. Do I have any anything with science on it? Anything with science on it? Um, well, I won't really have to 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 record it or to broadcast anything. What I'll do is I will pop him out for an EVA. I hope. I don't know how how. Stru structurally sound this is. Let's get this matched up a little better. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, yeah. Name of this is Gimme Money. It's strange how different you feel uh, you feel about it when there's actually some like some money pseudo money even though it's not real money pseudo money on the line. All right, launch. Yes, yes, on. I want to pop you out right quick. Get an EVA report. Keep data. Get back in. Yeah. That throttle doesn't matter, but just force to have it. Oh, you can tilt your uh, view weirdly. Okay, so the idea is I get this almost empty, and then I fire that one off. Okay, let's go. Got some G-forces going on. Okay, well, I'm assuming, well, actually, it already is a success. I just need to get him down on the ground. Uh, I will continue when, when we're actually doing that. Okay, we're about to touch down here in a minute. Uh, w the only question really is to see whether uh, we'll, we'll keep the uh, booster or not. I think we will, but we'll see. Or not. Yeah, we didn't keep the booster. Oh, well, it was cheap. All right, let's recover vessel. Okay, uh, 18 science, can I do anything with that? Didn't recover any parts. I got my money back for the command pod. <coughs> and the parachute. And the monopropellant. Okay, so Jebediah is available. Okay, how do we make this screen go away? All 
Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we can do some science here. Okay. How's that? How much does that require? Five science. Okay. Oh, that gives me the goo goo thing. The goo thing gives me the goo thing. Okay, those will be useful soon, but not straight away. Actually, a linear decoupler would be useful. Wings might be useful if I can figure out some way to actually do a flying vehicle with one of them. Uh, still no regular decouplers, are there? Oh, that was in the, that was in the first one. Okay. Uh, I go with this. I don't have I don't have 18 science. Never mind. Okay, we got some new options here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So basically, in order to do that, I just have to I, I use the uh, uh, LT, LVT-45 engine, okay? <coughs> and that, I just have to use, use the Mark 16 parachute. I don't. I don't have these, some of these parts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me let me make see. Make sure I even have a LT LE T45. That's an LVT30, not an LVT45. Okay, so I'm I'm going to assume that I can't do any of the R and D ones yet. Uh huh. Somehow, I don't really feel like he captures the personality of Gene German. A Mark 16 parachute. Do I have a Mark 16 parachute? Is that the kind of parachute I've got? Yep, I do have that. Okay. Alright, I, right. I can swing that one. What do I get? Now oh, what the hell? Okay, so in order to have that happen, I just have to use the Sceptron. I don't know if you have the Sceptron. Let me figure some stuff out. Okay, the objectives here are uh, to test the parachute and test the decouplers, which you know is fairly straightforward. Uh, but I do I, the main thing I need right now is science. So we're going to uh, get get our science on. No, we don't need four of them. How much do these cost? 800! Well, they're going to be attached to the command pod, so it should be okay. Assuming I survive the mission, should be just fine. Uh, I'm going to attempt to uh, get to orbit on, on this. Uh, it's not really part of the uh, specifications, uh, but uh, if I can get this to orbit, that would be a good thing. That would that would th let me know that with with my feeble uh, amount of uh, materials to work with here, that I can I can get that done and so start taking certain orbital missions. I have these paced out here so that they would will not overheat each other. 
Okay, are we ready? Decoupler, engine, parachute. And I'm going to try to land the engine. I don't know whether that's going to work. Maybe we should give it some insurance. These things are only, only 25 bucks each. And if I can get that, use these to uh, keep the um, engines from cracking up on landing, that would be a good thing. Yeah, okay. Well... We'll see how that works. <coughs> Give me money to ready for launch. I think. Well, the maximum SAS on. Uh, in three, two, one, let's go. Ooh. I don't know if I can be able to do a gravity turn, but with these rockets going, may have to wait until they're they're uh, done with. here. We need to leave some rocket, uh, some liquid fuel for landing. Slow me down for landing. Uh, we're going to call it there. Let me see. How high are we? I don't know if I'm going to be high enough to do an EVA or not. Fifty-five thousand is pretty high up, but it's also, you know, losing an astronaut would be a, a big risk. So, not sure I want to do that. Uh, I think we're going to content ourselves to just observing the mystery goo when we get to our apoapsis. Uh, Fifty-five thousand gives me gives gives me gives me pause for thought because there is still atmosphere and he's still going seven hundred forty meters a second, so not that. Okay. All right, let's observe the goo. All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna be content with. I would li would have liked to have got got an EP airport, but we're gonna be content with what we got here. Let 
We just need to get get some get some money going, get some science going, not kill anybody. Not kill Jebediah. Okay, this may take a while. Okay, things are gonna get interesting here pretty shortly as I have to um have to um uh, break to keep from losing my uh engine. So I want to keep my engine. Is that my shadow? I hope. Damn it, I lost my engine anyway. Shit. Well, fuck. Damn it. How did I lose the engine? Maybe I just need to strap the, the engines on the side. Okay, I got seven science, seven science. Okay. Next parts. Got the command pod. No, no, no. Parachute. Safety coupler. Fuel tank. The girder segments. Not the engine though. And we got Jebediah back. That's always a, always a good thing. Okay, let's see what's up next. Okay, I need me some more science. More science. Let's see, what are these things do I want? Yeah, a solid booster would be kind of handy. Cost three thousand dollars though. Really think I want to go with the um, the side decoupler. I don't know. Yeah, structural. I think I need more structural stuff than anything else. Okay, I got 18 left. 20, 15. 45, 45. Go with this. Okay. Okay, this might be a slightly dubious design. Um, what I'm trying to do is um, um, these decouplers here, these linear decouplers, cost a lot of money. Uh, so I can ha either have two and just stack a bunch of these guys together, but then the heat will interfere with each other. They won't get maximum uh, use out of, out of them. So I have them extended, but that makes that makes the whole thing look a little I don't know, like it might fall down. Um, uh, and I chose to do that instead of um, uh, just ha stack a bunch of of um, solid rockets underneath it uh, for uh, purposes of uh, saving money. Um, because this thing will be firing at the same time as these things do, and it'll be burning down uh, a fuel tank. And then by the time these things are ready to get rid of, uh, it'll have you know three fuel tanks left, and hopefully from there get to orbit. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, I really don't, I really have a bad feeling about this, but I don't want to, uh, let's see, how should I say it? Maybe I shouldn't use these at all. They cost 600 bucks a piece, so that's 1200 bucks right there. So how much do these guys cost? Uh, so it costs a little bit more for two of these than for uh, one of those. Logically, I probably should go with the uh, solid boosters on the bottom. Uh, 
much do these decouplers cost? 400. So I'd also be saving myself to that decoupler down at the bottom here. I really have a bad feeling about this, but I, I really think I should go ahead and go. Go with it. There's two decouplers. It's this guy. There's a decoupler up here. And this final stage. And then that decouples and the parachute. Yeah, hmm. I would be very much, um, very much, um, inclined to think this is not going to work. Uh, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. SAS on. Level to maximum. Yeah. In three, two, one, go. So far, so good. Not overheating. That's not uh, work right. It did not work as intended. Looks like it could be getting to go orbit anyway. Notwithstanding that we kind of screwed things up. Okay, half the fuel left there. Come on, baby. Come on. Get your ass to orbit. Okay. All right. How much fuel we got? Well, we got maybe enough to uh, finish out this orbit, possibly, and then we have the, the little tank on top. Uh, this is the first time I've actually sweated bullets about getting to orbit for, for a while. Of course, there was uh, really, uh, previously there was nothing really at stake, you know. Here, I'm going to lose a lot of money. Lose some money, honey, if I don't do it. Well, what about my current contracts? Well, whatever. Let's get let's get to orbit first. Worry about all that later.
and definitely paying for everything makes you uh, design differently than you would in a sandbox mode. You got to think about how much money you're spending to build these rockets. All right, I am in orbit. I should get credit for that. Okay. Now I got to warp on around and bring it on home. Actually, first... Let's get this boy out and get him on an EVA and let's get it going get some goo. Get some goo. I get you an EB report. Keep that data. Get a crew crew report. Good data. And now we're gonna warp around. Because whatever we have left, we get maximum credit out of it if we uh, uh, put it to, uh, near uh, near the uh, space center. Okay, I've actually got to jettison this because I got to test this engine. Part of one of my uh, things, I got to test this engine uh, in space. So, go ahead and uh, jettison that. Activate this. Point ret retrograde. And start decelerating. the um, uh, engines to hopefully uh, help us uh, slow down enough to where we can preserve as much of this as we can. Okay, it's going to take a while. Okay, in order to um, uh, 
to I think in order to get the emission for the parachute, I need to deploy it at 3400, which is not normally where I would deploy it at. Uh, could be risky. Well, not risky because nothing really happened there. Why does this just leave that these here? I wonder. He wondered to himself. Now that looks dangerous. I really hope I don't lose Jebediah. I mean, I do have the backup of these engines. If if worse comes to worse, that's a pretty <clears throat> that's a pretty tricky business. Trying to land this thing without landing legs, using just reactive force on Kerbin. Not something I'm, I'm looking forward to doing, honestly. Okay, well, the parachute looks like it's still attached. Okay. Um, maybe crashing. Maybe crashing my game. We're getting a little. Okay, I'm good. I wish you could see the um, uh, radar altimeter without um, without not look, looking outdoors. I guess I can judge using my. Uh, Using my shadow. If I can find my shadow. Okay. And the one hundred meters. That's good. Let's go ahead and get the goo here. Observe the goo. Keep the data. Recover the vessel. Okay, got some money. Let's see. Okay, good deal. Let's get some science going and we'll wrap it up. 
those, that's those. Have one of these would be handy. Strats are handy too. Robotic probe would be handy. And SAS would also be handy. Batteries would be handy. This is the point in having a robotic probe if you don't have batteries, I guess. Uh, I can live without that. Let's go ahead and get this. And uh, see, I got 24 left. I can research that. Okay. Uh, well, that's all for right now. Uh, we got uh, 91,000 uh, bucks sitting in the bank. Uh, ready for our next adventures. Uh, and uh, until next time, hasta la vista. Adios!